Hoy, uh, minisang ko ritua, Samurai Engineer Desh. So in this uh, segment of our uh, live stream, we'll talk about the foundation. So this is document that has something to do with foundation of buildings, but since we are interested in highway foundation, we will just pick up those important two highways rather than buildings. But anyway, we will just pass to the... Uh, we will uh, also read uh, some of the important uh, in relation to buildings because uh, we also have the same uh, concern about reinforced concrete uh, foundation. So, but before that, uh, please uh, clarify, sound check. Okay, uh, according to, it's clear po. Okay, shout out to you. So, therefore, let us proceed. I am just uh, changing the thumbnail. I am just changing the thumbnail. Please give me one minute. As you can uh, also recall, we already have discussion of bridge, but our discussion of bridges is limited to uh, superstructure and substructure. We did not uh, look in any way under the soil, under the earth. So those are foundation and footings. So let us... Talk about that. Uh, Putin's is also a uh, requirement for building. So, so there are supposed to be relationship. So I'm just uh, putting on the thumbnail, so please uh, bear with us. So while uh, putting on the thumbnail, let us go to the okay. uh, content of the discussion. So we'll talk about supposed to be foundation. We will leave, we will not talk about uh, crawl spaces, we can talk about decks because it is also present on bridge, floor system, so deck system, so we will not talk about wall systems, and uh, for example wall penetration and roof system. Okay, so although there are uh, bridges that have what? 
rupees for example uh, actually we cannot call it a bridge but it looks like a bridge for example connecting one one island to another island underwater so that is not a bridge because it is underwater but since it is uh, underwater it uh, it has some sort of a roof some sort of roof so it is sealed uh, anyway uh, anyway it is not uh, impossible to have a roofing in a bridge but we do not uh, do it because it will be costly and it is not necessary uh, so we will just take a look at it so anyway i am uh, what completing my thumbnail Maybe I need to turn off my video because I am experiencing so much lag Wi-Fi na my Wi-Fi. So maybe I need to turn off my video first. There is so much lag. So I am experiencing bad a Wi-Fi service today. Okay, so let's uh, proceed. So we are only nine. So there are only nine, so we only have 30 minutes. So all, uh, we can do it in less than 30 minutes. So better to take uh, this uh, topic uh, right on by special requirements for high wind and seismic risk areas so there are identified areas for high winds and uh, seismic risk areas so in our country there are on low, oh, also what we call uh, fault lines there are fault lines so in those areas meaning the uh, susceptibility to experience earthquake uh, uh, lateral motion that would uh, risk our uh, building or uh, structure or uh, bridge is very high unlike in those areas without fault line okay so when you are buying a land you're buying a property so take a look at the uh, fault line map of the country okay or oh, high winds also there are areas you can have uh, high winds <coughs> in some areas and very average uh, winds on others and uh, actually very slow wind on others so we also have a mapping for that so we have the NBCP uh, NACP <coughs> it is inside the NACP the wind map of uh, our country so, so what is this? This is uh, an element, structural element, timber. So, in those uh, high winds, uh, areas uh, type on uh, prone areas in our country. So, we have, uh, of course, separate uh, load per wind and therefore separate and different uh, but expected uh, loads for structural components. 
So, deflection of structural components. So, it will deflect. So, we already talked about serviceability. Deflection and uh, angular. Okay. Uh, curves. So, deflection is when a component of building bends under a load. Component of building or component of bridge. Okay. A load is a force. Okay. So, when we have the uh, foundation carries the load of the entire building, or a foundation that carries the load of the uh, bridge, okay? the dead load is the weight of the construction materials. Okay? So these are already known to us. So, okay. Okay. Deflection under live load. So we have a table, tabulation from the code. Okay, uh, and for example, for uh, bedroom floors, general codes assume that live load of at least 30 pounds of people. Okay? Floor coverings, furnishing in place over each square foot of floor area. Example, maximum deflection for bedroom joist with the length between supports of 180 inches would be. 180 over 360 or 1 half inch. So, the device or 180 or 360. We already talked about this. What are the, par the four types of device or for this uh, deflection criteria? 1 over 8, 180, 1 over, one, one over uh, 360, 1 over 480, 1 over 240. Those are tabulated. Okay? So, uh, here, the uh, deflection requirement. So, we didn't need to do it. We already done that on a previous course. Foundation, the soil bearing capacities. So, load bearing capacity. Place a uh, structural footings on undisturbed soil of known bearing capacity or on a bed of field material approved by an engineer. Okay. Have a geotechnical engineer evaluate the soil in areas known to have expansive or other unfavorable soils or if the soil bearing capacity is unknown. So a geotechnical engineer will evaluate that. So be beware of clay soils. Some clay soils are unstable and can be serious and can cause serious foundation problems. Okay. Use the following table to estimate soil bearing. So this is the table. So for gravel and sand, 3,000 PSI. For sand, silty sand, 2,000. Okay? So 2,000. Sandy soil. Okay? Gravel and sandy, 3,000. So, the rest are, uh, for example, clay, sandy, silty clay, 1,500. But there are also the strong granite-like soil, 12,000. Okay, granite, okay? very strong material. No? Sedimentary rocks, 4,000. So, we are always two, from 2,000 to 3,000 in our country, usual, okay? So, puttings, how to do it? So, putting with the dimension of the putting, use tables, okay? You may also use material found in ACI, okay? ACI 332. So, refer to a uh, general goods for special footings and putting reinforcement requirements in seismic areas. So, there is a different design for uh, footings, for wind or footings at different uh, area types. Okay. Putting thickness in slope. So, thickness is also an important dimension of a putting. Width and thickness. Width, length, and thickness. However, the length is wider than width. 
So that's why we are just talking of width. Width is the smallest dimension. Okay. Actually, thickness, but width and thickness uh, do not perform in the same what, uh, class. They have a different what, uh, function. Okay. So, spread puttings at least uh, 6 inches thick minimum. 6 inches or 150. That is minimum. So, project spread puttings at least 2 inches beyond the wall. So, beyond the wall. So, there is a protrusion okay, beyond the foundation wall. At least 2 inches. Do not project the puttings. Okay. Okay, do not, uh, what happened? Do not project the puttings behind the foundation wall more than the thickness of the putting. So, so if the putting thickness is uh, 6 inches, then the edge of the putting should not be more than 6 inches beyond the edge of the foundation wall. Okay. Locate the bottom of the putting at least 12 inches below finish grade. Okay. This does not apply to accessory buildings. Okay. With an area 600 square feet or less. And an eave height of 10 feet or less. So 10 feet is about 3 meters. Okay. And this does not apply to decks that supported by the home. Do not place uh, puttings on frozen ground. Okay, so take out the uh, frozen ground. Make the top surface of the puttings level. Level. You may slope the bottom of puttings not more than 10%. The bottom, the putting. Not the top surface of the putting. Okay. So the top surface must be level. The bottom can be sloping. Make the step, uh, make the step uh, putting thickness at least 6 inches. 6 inches. Step. Make a step putting height not more than that of the putting above the step. No. Puttings. Leveling putting forms is very important. Measuring putting depth and width at the top of the forms. Okay. Use table strain for to determine putting width. Here, butter boards. Okay. Butter boards and strings are used to level putting forms. Uh, these are butter boards. Then, uh, spread the footings for basement or Crawl space, interior load bearing wall puttings. So this is the uh, spread puttings. This is the interior wall, interior load bearing wall puttings. This is the uh, what? step putting. So usually we have this type of puttings. Very special case, no? special case, special case. Specifications for uh, foundation, concrete, concrete and basement slab, interior slabs, on grade, not uh, grade, not garage floors. Okay. Use at least 2,500 PSI concrete in all weathering potential environment. Minimum. Minimum 2,500. Okay. We are uh, actually using 3,000 to 4,000. Okay. Use air in train concrete between 5% and 7% total air content. Okay. In severe with the potential environment. This is a uh, less in our country. Usually this is uh, in winter countries. 
there are in train air contact. So confirm with the uh, concrete uh, provider that the product you've uh, ordered meets specifications for your area. So if you order from the what? Concrete mixing plant, mixing company, they know the different area, location requirement because uh, office of the building officials are local in nature per city, per uh, towns. And they may have, they may have a requirement that is only locally uh, important. Okay? For example, uh, their uh, municipality is what in the uh, in the immediate vicinity of a volcano, or their municipality has so many fault lines. So therefore, they have a different or their municipality is a typhoon prone area. Okay? So, at least uh, 2,500 use at least 3,000 PSI air in train concrete with uh, between 5 to 7% in train length. Okay? Okay? For uh, porches, garage, and carports, floors, and other horizontal concrete exposed to weather, you can use at least 3,000 PSI. Okay? Use at least 3,500 PSI air and train in severe weathering potential condition. And you may use at least 4,000 PSI air and train concrete with at least 3% of total. For a uh, steel throw weld garage floor, in moderate and severe withering potential environment. Okay. Well, that is the use of 3,000 and 4,000. Foundation and course. Install at least uh, one up inch diameter bolts okay, in exterior footings, stem walls, basement walls, interior brace walls, monolithic slabs, and others. Places to which seal or uh, sole plates for load bearing and brace walls will be attached. Okay, so bolt is provided. Install and tighten a nut and washer on its bolt. Verify washer size with your local building official. So locate the bolts in uh, at least 7 bolt diameter and not more than 12 inches from the ends of its plate and not more than every 6 feet on center in between. So these are the location of the bolts. Okay. Seven bolt diameters. Not more than 12 inches from the ends of its plate. Okay. So locate bolts in the middle third of the plate. Middle third. Install at least two bolts per plate section. And be the bolts at least seven inches into the foundation. So using foundation and for example using uh, wooden or timber columns or post. And then you have to connect the column to the foundation or to the footings. That's why you need this uh, kind of things. Okay, so or walls, wooden walls like this. Okay, so this is what we are talking about. We have footings foundation which is concrete and we have what uh, we have the uh, timber structure that must be connected so you have to do this okay anchor bolts so uh, you may substitute uh, anchor straps rather than anchor bolts okay so let us Uh, go to the deck instead decks so wooden decks are also possible in bridges there are uh, old bridges wooden decks i don't know if there is a uh, ruling or this there is a department order that uh, prohibits use of timber bridges i don't know i'm not aware I think there's none. I think there's none. 
However, it's very hard in our country to uh, get a good supply of timber for or uh, bridges. For buildings, is a uh, it is okay, but for bridges that uh, must have what longer span. Bridges have longer span, so that's why it's very hard to get a supply of a good quality timber for bridges. Decks are relatively simple structure, but even a basic deck project must conform to the requirements in the code. Okay. So deck. Uh, must meet uh, or exceed all lumber sizes codes. For example, use lumber that is at least 4x4 for four, four post for decks up to 8 feet above the footing and 6x6 six six post for decks up to 14 feet above the footing. So it depends upon the height, the timber post will adjust the size. 6x6 no? six six for 15 feet. So 14 feet is about 3.6 meters and 8 feet is about uh, 3 so less than 3 so 2.8 about 2.8 uh, meters <coughs> that is 8 feet Okay, so eight feet six hundred two point four two point four meters eight feet is about two point four meters. Okay, general deck building guidelines. So use hot dip zinc coated galvanized steel for fasteners when we are using fasteners like this. Okay? Correct size galvanized steel or stainless steel joist hangers, oh, hangers, fasteners. Okay. So use at least two number two grade pressure treated lumber or number two grade naturally durable lumber for the structural members. Okay, so that is hanger deck uh, ledger attachment to the home. So. Deck ledger. Okay. So we have what? Do not attach the ledger directly to siding or other wall coverings. Okay. Remove all wall coverings in the installation area so you can attach the ledger to the wall framing members. Cut the sidings with a circular saw and finish the corners with a chisel. Do not attach the ledger to brick or stone wall coverings a self-supporting deck may be necessary okay, meaning uh, must have its own column or post okay. hang a double joist between joists to support the deck in areas where obstructions won't allow leisure so this is what we mean by leisure so leisure so this is chimney chase. Okay, so meaning the this is for what winter house with winter season. So we need chimney in order for the what the fireplace. There are fireplace inside the uh, what? house to warm up the air inside the house to the comfortable level so and then the uh, burn gases would be removed by using chimney so this is a chimney chase meaning chimney chase is the ducting ducting going to the chimney itself okay so ledger board should be a pressure treated lumber that's at least two okay so ledger boards Again, ledger boards are like this one. Okay? These are the ledger boards. Deck attachment using screws or bolts. So attachment. Install staggered fasteners 
staggered holes. Staggered holes. That is for board. This is what? Structural element. Okay? But this is for walls. Okay? So, and walls could be could be structural or not. Walls could be structural or not. If the walls would uh, support or would be placed against a typhoon, so the wall must be uh, structural. Or if uh, the wall is against a soil, preventing erosion, so that is what a uh, structural wall. Okay? So, cantilever length should not be more than one inch of cantilever. So, one inch. One inch here. Per four inches joist span. So, this is cantilever. A rim joist. So, meaning it is on the edge of the joist. So, there are several joists here and you have to put the uh, timber board to the edge. So that is what we call ring joist. Okay. So you may uh, two nail joist to a beam only if the uh, deck is attached. Okay. So this is hurricane clip. Okay, so this is against typhoon. So this is the joist. So two nail. So this is the two nail. The one, two. Okay. On the other side, another two. So there are one. Uh, four. Four. What is the uh, specs of the nail? 8D nail okay uh, this is a two nail another two nail this is a hurricane clip uh, so it is better than the two nail it's better okay so you can also use this uh, passenger this is the leader. This is the leader. So this is a concrete or hollow. Uh, this is not hollow block. This is supposed to be concrete uh, grout. Concrete grout or uh, column, concrete column or concrete beam. Not hollow blocks. It will not be rolled by the hollow blocks. Okay? So leader must be fixed by passengers like this okay? so, through the concrete uh, columns or beams so face the ledger then you can connect the joist or the uh, beam or the joist okay? this is the joist to the ledger then you can now put up the deck or the what, flooring So, these are attachment, bolts, sizes, so on, deck support, so on. So, fasten beam members. So, these are the beam. Okay. So, using nails here. These are the nails. Okay. So, one way to attach a beam to a 6x6 post. This is a 6x6 post. This one. Attaching a beam. Okay, you can also have this plate, no? So steel plate to attach the beam to the what? This is the putting, and then and this is the foundation. Okay. So from a beam to column to puttings, then to the soil. Okay. So deck or slab to the beam to the column. Okay. That is how we transfer load. Okay. So deck uh, post either 4x4 four four 
or 6 by 6 depending upon the uh, length or the height of this uh, post or column. Joist may not be attached to post with the uh, true bolts even when mortises are cut into post to house the joist. So it is not a violation, that is a violation. So when you install a uh, flashing between the deck ledger and the house, and when the deck is attached to the house, you should install a uh, ledger flashing and there the water resistant barrier so that the water will not leak behind the flashing. The flashing shown here uses galvanized steel drip cap. Okay, on deck flooring. So let's go to the deck flooring made from composite materials last longer and require less maintenance than wood flooring install composite materials according to the manufacturer instructions so this uh, flooring could also be used in bridges there are bridges so deck uh, flooring and bridges are made up of concrete or composite usually concrete because that is the most economical but composite expensive but highly reliable, efficient, and longer lifespan, okay, for bridge uh, decking. So, stringers, cut stringers, uh, should be supported every six feet. So, every six feet. So, attach the stringers to support using a hanger, not just nails. So these are the hangers. Hangers. Uh, these are actually what? The stairs? Okay, stairs. Deck uh, bracing. So deck guard support. Okay should be uh, secured using a touch hardware for long term strength so for long term maintenance right? we have this type of connection because wood and timber is uh, the what the uh, the uh, weakest material that we allow however uh, we still have to have a standard okay so for example here bracing so this is a diagonal bracing okay post this is joist okay so we have a brace two feet minimum from post to you know, so it is what is specified two feet minimum okay so or joist Floor systems, floor joist span tables. Uh, we have what? L over 360 deflection criteria and using 40 pounds per square foot live load and 10 feet, 10 pounds per square foot dead load. So 40, 10 or 10, 40. For joist under living areas other than bedrooms and under decks and balconies. So, 10, 40. But if you are uh, bedrooms, attics, okay, in similar spaces, you have what? 10, 30. So, 10 dead load, 30 live load. Okay, so it is a, uh, what? Higher, 10, 40 for live load under living areas okay. because in bedroom you are not usually moving in the bedroom that's why it is lesser 30 okay so apply the following tables uh, to floor systems frame with nominal 2 inch wide dimension lumber such as 2 by 10 an engineer must design floor truss and joist system 
So floor joists and trusses must conform to minimum span rating. Span. Minimum. The codes according to how long they are and what type of wood they are made of. So it is written on the code. Different types of timber and their corresponding properties. Minimum properties in the code for timber. There are five specified properties. Structural properties. Okay. So for example, Douglas fir. Douglas fir is a type of material. Hemp fir is a type of material. Southern pine is a type of material. So in our country, for example, Kamagong, Paluchina, Nara, those are the type of materials in our country. Okay? So, uh, you can uh, look it up in my channel on the playlist Timber Design. The Steel and Timber Design. There are uh, discussion about the different types of wood. Okay? There are examples. Okay? Uh, this is uh, installation of floor system, framing. Framing for floor system. Okay? Flooring. So we have the central beam here. Okay? So we have this uh, floor system supported by what? Supported by concrete. This is concrete. This is the concrete what? Beam. And we have the uh, central beam and what? The joist. Okay? Okay, so joist double trim. Okay? Double headers. So double headers okay? Double trim to what? To support the penetration. This is what we call floor penetration. Maybe this floor penetration is for what? Stairs. This is the space open for connecting the stairs. That's why we have what? So much uh, support. So these are the support system. Okay? Double leaders and double trims. Okay? And we have rim joints, joist and the uh, common joist. So these are the dimensions. Uh, we have uh, place additional joist and the load bearing walls running parallel to the joist. Uh, joist. Also, again and again, this is also uh, applicable on bridge. The small bridges, the small bridges, okay? Particularly bridges that connect what? Uh, or in along the coastal area. Along the coastal area. Or the uh, what? Piers. Pier uh, platforms. Uh, platforms in the pier area. So, uh, for uh, what? Loading and unloading people and cargoes in small, small boats and ships. Okay? So, these are new joys. Placing additional original one and place to support running parallel with this. Okay? So, this is the normal configuration. Main beam, we have the this uh, what? This is a joist deep. Okay. From this point to this point. Load bearing wall. So there are load bearing walls and there are non-load bearing walls. So this is a load bearing wall. So it will transfer the load to this board and then this board will transfer it to this and will uh, transfer it to this joist. And then the joist will transfer to the beam. And then the beam is connected to the column. In the column connected to the puttings okay, and so on. Okay, uh, so this is uh, one and a half minimum cantilever here or the support here minimum three inches minimum for 
this type of connection or oh, there are different types of connect so overlap three inches because this is three inches three inches overlap okay one board one board is uh, on the edge okay so just like trim boards okay uh, or a uh, joist trim okay so this is a floor joist double beam so so joist uh, hanger transferring the load from floor joist to this uh, double beam so double beam meaning there are two so this is about the dimension of this is about 2 by 10 2 by 10 okay so this is for supporting uh, the deck for example oh, support the deck here it's a beam joist so the joist will transfer the load to the beam okay. bridging so bridge okay, in the floor system bridging the floor system so you have either a flexible tension member or a fixed but uh, cross bridge okay. So, floor bridging include the uh, full dip uh, lumber, okay? full dip lumber, uh, X bridging, wood bridging, so X bridging, wood bridging, full lumber, so full, okay? so floor joist uh, openings. Oh, these are the openings. You have double header, double trimmer. Double header, double trimmer. For floor openings, for floor penetration. Floor sheeting, so we are now laying the floor uh, surface. Okay? First, the sheeting. Groove are there, so we have a tongue. So, groove in tongue. Uh, configuration so that the connection is what uh, seamless okay so blocking and joist <coughs> so we have how to read the specification or the sheeting okay so a exposure b then C and D. <coughs> so A is the exposure here. Exposure 1 means the panel can withstand some exposure to weather. Okay. Exterior means the panel is designed for long term weather exposure. Okay. So do we have the what already? B2 capture. So, anyway, we are uh, now going to the end of our discussion. While uh, letter B is the what, number before this last, that is maximum on center support. Okay, so 7. Okay? And letter C, maximum on center support. So maximum on center support span this is maximum on center support span when used as floor sheeting this is when used as roof sheeting so roof and floor so letter d performance category at the bottom of label use this when referencing panel thickness in the so category so panel thickness Drop stopping. Drop stop. Okay. Drop is uh, uh, another problem in countries with what? <coughs> with four seasons. Okay. So drop stopping helps limit the spread piles in floors, framing, and floor ceiling assemblies. 
it is most often required when uh, using open with floor trusses and when a ceiling is suspended on there. So, drop stop. Okay. Do not confuse drop stopping with fire blocking. Ah, okay. So, so it is different. So, fire blocking with drop stopping. So, fire blocking is in the wall assemblies. So, drop stopping is in floor framing. So, wall and floor. Oh, that is the difference. Drop stopping. Some floor tiles require drop stopping to prevent horizontal air movement that can uh, conduct fire. Okay. So, not chest and holes. So, this is what we call nuts. This uh, part is nuts. Okay. That is nuts. That is not a hole. It is a nut. This is also a nut. So, letter U. So, that is a nut. Okay. So, holes. Drills. Okay. So, maximum diameter, one third the depth. That is maximum. To the edge, two inches. So, about the nuts here. So, maximum depth, one eight of, one six of joystick. So, here, this is one third of depth. This is one six. One third, one six. One third per hole, one six per nuts. So, the same, the same requirement for drilled holes, the same requirement. But the length, is also one third the length of nuts so the uh, nuts distance is one six but the length is one third so there are no wall systems okay so using wood there are plenty of fasteners so, two nailings, nailings, or dinari nails, conventional. So, end nailing, two nailing, face nailing. Okay, this is what we mean by end nailing. Two nailing and face nailing. Okay? Uh, those are the difference. Face nailing and end nailing uh, was the same, but look at the connection. So, this is end. The end of the what? This is the end connected to this board. So that is end nail. This is this is the face. And this is another face. So face nailing. Two nailing. Okay. So wood nailing requirements. Uh, we do not uh, have to look at it very technical. So you can just look up the table. Wall stud size and spacing. So there are requirements for these uh, wall studs. These are the studs and the spacing. The distance. So wall studs taller than 10 feet require number 2 or better grade construction lumber. So shorter walls may be built with cheaper number 3 grade. So there are grade of grading of what? Lumber. So I think I have on the what? On the, a channel. Uh, I have a playlist on the same channel. I have a grading of timber. So, stud sizes. What we mean by walls support roofing. Okay. This wall support the roofing. Okay. Wall supporting two floors. Okay? And wall supporting one floor. Okay? Depends. So, notches and holes for stud, for stud. So, violation. This is Double to load bearing studs if the holes are not more than 60% of the actual depth. Violation. Okay, there's no strength in this transverse axis. In this axis, there's no strength anymore. Okay, 
Do not locate the nuts in the hole in the same part of the stud. So stud meaning the vertical portion, okay? So those are the stud. Wall bracing. So bracing of the wall, like this. Length of brace wall. So wall brace, wall brace, wall brace. So those are this portion. The red portion here is the wall brace. Wall brace on the corner, wall brace here. Wall brace at this corner. Okay. Fastening wall braces. So simple wood, wall braces, wood structure panel, wall bracing. Fire blocking. So this is on the walls. Okay. The fire blocking is on the walls. Connected. Uh, style of fire blocking and frame columns. So there is a framing here. Frame arcs and similar opening between stories. That is fire block. Wall penetration flashing. So we can uh, put this up in order to uh, flash seal okay? one uh, area from another. So sealing required. How to flash a window and a door. So uh, window flashing. Okay, so water resistant barrier, pan flashing. But pan flashing is just like here. This uh, can be kick out flashing inserted between the underside of the roof covering layer. Okay. Similar to this, the pan flashing. Okay, so we have what? Cut strips of self-adhesive flashing membrane and apply them to the wall at its side of the window opening. So, for sealing. So, install uh, the window according to the manufacturer's uh, description and so on. So, roof, uh, there are what we call ridge, valley, and hip raptor frame type of roof. Raptors, trusses. Okay? So, what do we mean by ridge? The ridge is the top portion of the roof. This is the ridge. Okay? Common raptors. These are the raptors. Then, valley. Okay? So, this is valley. This is actually the valley here. So, hip and jack raptor. This one. This is the hip raptor. Okay, these are the terminologies of groupings. Ridge board, this is the ridge. So this is the ridge board. Parlins, so raptors and parlins. So these are the parlins. Okay, so raptors, parlins. Parlins can support raptors, okay. So, meaning to say, raptors is uh, vertical, by vertical, but parlins horizontal. Studs vertical. Okay. So, ceiling joist. So, raptor is like this. Actually, diagonal. Raptor is diagonal. Okay. Collar tie. So, raptor, this is the joist. Okay. So, nailing, okay, there are nailing, uh, standards. So, again, this is uh, clips. So, raptor, reeds. Okay. So, what is this? What are these? These are plates. Okay. Limited storage, a thick with trusses. So we have rather than simple nailing or bolting, so we have with metal plate to connect. 
So this is our joints, okay? connector joints. So rope truss insulation. So we have insulation shield around the equipment. Bends. So this is on the what the venting. Okay. Uh, that pass through insulation. So these are insulation material and we have a bend. Okay. Exterior components. So that's all. That is not uh, included in our discussion. So uh, actually there are several things that we discussed. Okay, any question? So questions. If there are no questions, again, this is uh, Dr. Ripi, Preaching Engineering for Nation Building.